Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. This week I want to highlight a sick product and that product is our cylinder sensor called the MPS-G cylinder sensor. What's really great about this sensor is not only does it give you an input or an output when the cylinder is retracted or extended, it also can give you tons of IO link data because this is actually an IO link sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this IO link master from SICK and we're going to plug into it using the SICK SOPA software and look at all that extra data that we can get back from this sensor. So let's hop into it. When you're plugged in it's going to find it. If you've never used this product before you are going to have to get an SDD file from SICK. I will make another video on how to do that in the future here but just know that you have to have an SDD file. Alright so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to click on this, double click on this little icon right here. And then it's going to, first off, it's going to give us some just general data. It's going to give us the part number, the product name, the actual serial number of this. And it's going to give us kind of some basic information. It's kind of showing a little graph right here when I have it extended and retracted. It actually shows the different position that I'm in. And it gives me a position reading right here as well. Then we can go to general device settings. This is where if you want to do like a factory reset and that type of stuff, you can set that. Then we'll go to enhanced settings. Here's where we can have different outputs so that you have three outputs to play around with. You have output one, two, and three. They start with a Q. That's just how they do it. So as you can see, if I fully extend it, I'm, I'm making output three true. If I'm fully closed here, I'm making output one true. And if I go right into the middle here, and this could be representing a part that I'm picking, output two goes true. So this is really a, a great feature. You can actually define different parts with these different outputs. If you had three different parts you're picking, you want to know which part is which, you could actually adjust these outputs to whatever part that's going to be on your gripper or where whatever you're trying to measure. So that's a really great feature right there of this product. The next thing that I want to show you is this gives you a lot of great information like the travel time that it took to extend, the time to retract, the average velocity to extend and to retract. So you can see right here I'm getting numbers as I'm extending it and retracting it. I can go slower and go faster. And it just gives you some really interesting data on here. It actually does your cycle count. You can reset it right here if you want to. And then as I do a cycle, it will count each time I'm actuating it. It can give you the dwell time for the position. And there's other information here that we can get to. So we can get the ambient temperature that this sensor is seeing right now. It's not that accurate, but it gives you a good idea if like if you if you want to get some rough ideas of what the temperature is like that this thing's operating in. We can see the orientation of the sen sensor right here. So there's an inclinometer in there that shows us what the orientation is on each axis. You can see if there, the sensor is seeing a lot of vibration, so I'm going to start shaking it. And you can see as I shake it, the vibration goes up really high. And then if I just set it down on a table, it goes a lot lower. Then I can pound the table, the vibration goes back up. So this gives you some really great general information about this sensor, a lot more than just on off. And this is all done through IO Link. So if you have an IO Link master, lots of controllers, like the BNR controller can be an IO Link master. You can get all this data right back into your controller, and it, it really is useful information for understanding what's going on with your machine. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video this week. I hope it was really informative and you learned a lot about these MPS-G sensors from SICK. It's a really great sensor, gives you tons of great feedback utilizing the IO Link technology. All right, if you like this type of information that I'm provided, providing, please go ahead and hit subscribe. There's lots of other great content related to the automation that we sell through Auto Heartfield Automation and a lot of great information. So hit subscribe if you want to. Have a great weekend and please stay safe.